trying to jump out the top. Have you had the new Sprite Chill? It's good. The new, it's like a cherry limeade Sprite. It's really good. Oh yeah. It's pretty fire, son. Mm. This interview is being sponsored by Sprite, guys. Y'all be so sure to refreshing. cut the check to Jambo. Hey. Cut him the check. So refreshing. No baby thirst. Yeah. Mmm. That just makes you want to. This Sprite hits, yeah, don't it? It does, boy. Hey. Dude. I can't tell you something. That's right on right there. Yeah, it hits. Hmm. Is that your favorite soda, Sprite? That's only so, like if you soda. Drink, yeah. Pop or Coke, cold yeah, drink. We just call it a Coke. It's the only Coke I drink. Yeah. The Sprite. <laughs> that's that's what's that funny sense. about yeah about uh about us man being from the south. Everything's Coca Cola, or Coke. Up up you know you get towards the north it's like pop. Everybody says pop. Have you ever called a soda a pop before? I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. I have. Let me get a pop. Yeah. That sounds like you want somebody to slap you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I right, let me get yeah. a pop. Yeah. Pow. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Yes, dude. And if it's dead, it's preserved, and we need to get pictures of it and document what we have. Because it could be a very rare species. We don't know. It's Come here. But if it's alive, dude, don't scare it all. This might, it's like our one chance, man. Okay. Uh, come here. I'll point it out. Come here. Come here. Oh, you see right there? Mm -hmm. Curtain. Can you sneak up on me? All right, go. I'm counting on you, bro. Shh. <laughs> Dude, we're back again. Mm -hmm. And we're fresh off. I don't want to say fresh off. A couple of weeks off of uh, the Redneck Rave. Talk about your Redneck Rave experience, bro. It's the first time you've ever been to one. Kind of give us a breakdown on what you thought of it. From from just as, as a whole, you know. Well, pulling up, I was like, damn, bro. We ain't in, in four-wheel drive, and it's muddy as hell. Like, yeah. we finna get stuck pulling in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we. I felt a little unprepared. On that note, but we did have uh, we did have some wheels, man, and bro, it was so much fun. Like I don't want to ever miss another one yeah. <laughs> if I could make that happen. Yeah, and I want to bring everybody. Yeah. you know what I'm saying, dude? Because yeah. it was a, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you did y'all get to go like riding a lot or? Oh, uh, you just got a little bit of riding in, and then y'all had to. Yeah, not not a whole bunch of riding, man, but uh, just seeing the people, man, and the different rides and the different characters was enough for me and meeting different people, you know. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool and just to be able to cruise around and see everybody having a good time and smile and laugh, even when it was pouring rain, you know, and ain't nobody cared. Yeah. They're still in it, so. Yeah. It was dope, bro. Like, and the thing that's crazy, that was our first one, too. And for the, real, yeah, was, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was our first one. We we've had uh, chances to go before, and it just uh, stuff came up. We couldn't go or <coughs> one or something. But they said that was the worst one yet, as far as weather. Usually, they said it's all dirt, and they have to bring in trucks to make the mud pits yeah. worth mudding in. So, like, man, I think it worked out perfect, bro. Yeah. And from my point of view, could, man, and I, it was. It was, it, man, it touched my heart how welcoming everybody was that I met. There was some cool people that I seen on the screen before, you know, and then mm -hmm. you meet them and it's like, damn, man, they really cool people. Yeah. You know, so that was neat to see that, man. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, because it, it was your first time actually getting to come to like an event as an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then to, for it to lead to that one, um, talk about, let's talk about the, your performance, dude. How do you feel about it? Like, talk about it leading up to it. The bug man's here. Oh, okay. Especially if y'all catch me. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was laughing at. Man, it was, uh, I was so freaking like, just that energy before you go on stage, you can't explain. I was so nervous. You know yeah. what I mean? I almost feel like I was levitating just a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know if I stepped on stage or if I floated up there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, I was nervous as a dog, boy. And I just, when I get like that, man, I just be like slam dancing and just trying mm -hmm. to get in the zone. And uh, once you get up there and just kind of get warmed up and go through it, it's uh, it's pretty awesome, man. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah, and I think I think for your first time perform. I mean, I know you've done open mics and stuff back in the day, but like for your first, that was your first like for real like performance as an artist as Jam Wayne, right? Like at, it, to that extent. You said you've done like open mics before. Yeah. You like, but I think that for your first one, I thought you did great, bro. I mean, obviously, you know, everybody there had backing tracks. It wasn't just us. It, it was all. It was every artist. Um, and that's something that you'll learn too. Like we talked about, like wrapping into the mic more, but like when you're trying to like vibe out, bro, it's hard to do that. <laughs> I mean, they need to get closer so they can just hear me. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude? Yeah. Cause, yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is. Ain't it? Yeah. But, uh, and I think, yeah, I think man, that's just, it. you know, practicing, performing and stuff. And I've been, I know it's so crazy, but I know every artist does it, practicing in a mirror and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I hadn't really, I've been practicing, but I ain't, I ain't really done it in front of a mirror or nothing like that yet. But. Right, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, man, it's just, I mean, it's like any trade, you know, mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta fucking get in there, man, and, and work, your, work your skills, you know, yeah. man, sharpen your skills and get in there and do it, so. Yeah, dude. I think the more that uh, we get out there and make it happen and get out there and perform, then the better it'll get. No, know? for sure. And I, th I figure think, it out. Yeah, I think that people went crazy too when you did hold my beer, especially when you did when you shook the beer up and sprayed it, bro. They went nuts when you did that. Yeah, that was that was cool. It was a cool way to do I, it. I thought about that afterwards, bro. I was like, damn, I chunked that beer in the crowd. I'm, I hope it didn't hit nobody in the head. <laughs> yeah, well, I was thinking, I was like, it wasn't a bottle, was it? No, no, it was a can. I was like, all right, well, an empty can. Yeah. I, I, got, think, I was so fired up, man. Like, yeah. I couldn't, you know, and that's, sometimes I be getting so fired up, man. I don't know what I'm going to do, you mm -hmm. know? And, uh so just to be able to capture that in a performance on stage in a controlled environment and maybe yep. not throw beer cans into the crowd. Right. <laughs> you know, right. Like, <laughs> I work on that. Right. Well, and the thing is, for that, for that, like, for the Redneck Rave, that is a time where that's not near as much of a big deal because everybody's just out there. You saw the one dude, he wanted you to, spray beer all over him it got kind of weird though for a sec because the way he was saying it you remember, do you remember do you remember that yeah. he said i want but you to spray really... me with that i'm like yeah. this I, uh, it's getting a little weird but all right cool dude well i was man like you know what i mean i was trying to behave for one i didn't want to i didn't want to like cause too much of a ruckus right. in the crowd and he was trying to get on stage and i was like hold up is he supposed to be up here? Like yeah. I was wondering, like, is he is he okay up here? So yeah. I just stepped back, and uh, but he was cool, man. Shit, he was down rocking that shit. So yeah, it ain't nothing but love, man. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Do you want to speak about? Them? <laughs> there was one specific person in the crowd that had no shirt on, mm -hmm. and she was she was um. Letting letting them swing and bang, though. So they were swinging and banging, dude. Yeah. It was in the entire shot of your performance that we got. So I was able to. Oh, really? <laughs> but no, I remember no, there's a there's this, there's a moment. Yeah, so that during that performance, there was that there was a moment where you were dapping up a lot of the fans, and you circle around, and you. She presents herself like she want she's wanting you to shake, one of them, right? Do you remember that? And you just kind of, <laughs> I think you dabbed her. I've never approached a woman that wanted you to shake her boob. If, if that's what you, you, I've never grabbed it. No, Super nobody t has. You know, you man, did the so right I, thing. I, I know, definitely. I was like, that's nice, but hey, how you doing? Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that could have ended badly for everybody involved. For everybody. Yeah, yeah man. But I mean, props to her and let them hang out. It was a dope I mean? experience overall, man. I'm just, I'm glad that it worked out the way it did. And I'm glad that you uh, was able to see the, the love and everything that everybody was showing. I was glad that you was able to see that firsthand. So it gives you probably a better perspective on things. I mean, it really felt like I was just, it was a big family reunion. Mm -hmm. You know, man, yeah. like, it was like my cousins and uncles and mm -hmm. aunts and my wild nieces and nephews, crazy asses was there. You know, man, yeah. like, so yeah. I, uh, yeah, man, you cherish them experiences, man, when you link up with folks like that. 
Yeah, so I look forward to the next. So you, we're here today because you're shooting a video for a song that you've got with a legend in the in the hip hop game, Twista. Yeah. Right. Speak about how that came about. Well, I, he uh, hit us up online, man, and just I think caught, left a comment and was showing love on the project and everything, and got a hold of Banks and chopped it up with him. And then mm -hmm. I got his number, got to call him up, and uh, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, this one thing led to another, man, and here we are. Yeah. So, nah, man, but Twister coming in mm -hmm. is fucking epic, dude. I'm psyched. I can't wait to see uh, how this comes together. Mm -hmm. And like you said, he a legend. Yeah. I mean, I grew up listening to him, you know, man. So yeah. to have a project with him is a blessing, and um, I don't take it lightly. And, you know, I'm just very thankful to be in this situation. Yeah. And uh, I hope, you know, we can build a friendship that lasts a lifetime, man. And this is the beginning of it. So we'll go from there and see what happens. No, for sure, dude. Yeah. And the song's banging too, man. So that, It that, is, man. Yeah. And Jay on that thing, boy, he yeah. does his thing. So yeah. it uh, it's a neat song, man. Just a different, you know, different vibe yeah. for everybody to check out. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. So. Sam's up here going to do a video, another video. Y'all come outside and come out here. Come in, uh, come in not, not on top, but down here. Jay got a song. It's yeah. really fire. Um, Jambo's doing rapper shit again, dude. How does it feel? It's, uh, damn, bro. It's been rough, dude. You know, like, all the time sitting around just thinking and drinking beer and... Mm -hmm. Relaxing, man, and writing cool songs, just about whatever. Yeah. I mean, it takes a toll on a man. No, for sure. I mean, you know, the only thing that could be worse is if I had my ass in the sand and my toes in the water. Yeah. You know, that'd be horrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> like. Well, one thing I wanted to ask too, like uh, you being somebody that's hey, never. You sneaking them videos again? I told you about that. You, you never haven't, like. The, you doing what you was doing before, I'm sure you never had downtime. <clears throat> Not never, but it was a lot more, it wasn't like it is now. Like with, with, with rapping and artistry, like there's a lot of idle time where you're waiting on this or waiting on that. Or, does that take getting used to? Because before you're just, I'm sure with your other job, you're just ripping and running, right? Yeah. Well, I still got a lot of shit that I do in the, in the downtime, you know? So yeah. It ain't like there's really no downtime. Right. It's like we just added this shit. <laughs> so it's like right. we got, we're doing extra shit on top of extra shit. Yeah. So, uh, but it's cool, man, just because it's a new adventure. You know, every time y'all come out, every time uh, I'm in a different beat, different song, it's like, I mean, you know, how are we going to tell this story, man? How are we going to bring this to life? You know, the, how are we going to bless the people? You know, because I, I want... The people that listen to the music, man, I want them to feel it and keep it, you know, like, yeah. and to be able to have a relationship with them through the music, you know, man, and, yeah. and just to be a, a part of that line of work. It's like, what you do for a living? Yeah. Oh, I'm a mill rock, I'm a welder, I'm a yeah. brick mason, I'm a carpenter, I'm an electrician, I've done, yeah. you know, I'm a rapper. Yeah. Throw that in there, <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah, that's shit. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And see, yeah. and then you had that, put like that, that on the resume. Yeah, <laughs> that new one you did. Well, the newer one you did, Paradise. That one's getting a lot of good traction. Yeah. A lot of it, I feel like, too, is because it's so relatable. Yeah. That's a really dope video and song, bro. And that's one that I hadn't heard until it premiered, which was cool. Yeah. But like, was that was that one tougher to do because it was more? It felt like it was more personal to you. You know what I mean? Like. Did it seem like that was more difficult to do? Yeah, I I had uh I found a really good buddy of mine dead on my toilet in 2011 or 2012. So it's real, that's, that's real life at that time. Yeah. Yeah. So I had tried to write it years ago, and uh, finally I was messing around, man, on some with some beats and mm -hmm. come across something, man, and got back on it, and uh, <clears throat> you know it, it, I finally got it down. And man, look, I ain't kidding you, bro. Like, I sit there and it was just like a, a release. You know, yeah. man, like, just like the floodgates. Yeah. 
I don't know, and then, but then after putting a video out and then watching it and watching it and reliving that and reliving that, it's like it, like a sad spirit was trying to come over me. You know, was doing that? Just, like, no, just that over the past weekend, yep. you know, since I put that out. So it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, rotten, and especially when you're bringing up personal shit, you know, like some stuff that you've already buried. Yeah. You know, they say let the sleeping dog lie. Yeah, yeah for sure. You know, man, so yeah. bringing stuff back up, man, and hard times and stuff uh, that you went through, um, I didn't realize, but sometimes, man, it weighs on you in a different way than you would think. Mm -hmm. You know, man, like, yeah. and it's almost like the devils or the demons, they like, oh shit, he's sad, let's jump on his ass right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. man, why yeah. he's sad, cause look, you see his eyes tearing up, yeah. like, let's get him. And yeah. so you get attacked from every which way, man. You know, man, so it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's been a battle. It's been a, a tough weekend for me. Yeah. After seeing that come out and seeing all that just uh, come to life mm -hmm. again, you know. Uh, and I just hope with that, man, I know there's a lot of people that have buried, have found their loved ones on the, in various places, man. Mm -hmm. And it, it's hard. And it's hard for me to watch, too. But I think it's necessary for them people to know that there's others that's gone through the same shit and I feel you know what I mean my heart my heart hurts for y'all and so I just hope uh, in some way form or fashion that I mean you can find freedom in that song somehow you know because I did like when I after, like I said when, after I wrote it and the floodgates came out <laughs> it like there was something that was released in me so uh, I had to get that out of me no, nah, for sure, bro. I'm yeah. glad you did, because it's dope, man. I think it's dope. Yeah. What you got in your hand? Uh, Sprite. This is <laughs> it's a new Sprite. It's a new look. Because me and Natty, we're kind of having a spat. Really? Yes, we are. What happened? They don't know nothing about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, it's a one-sided spat. Well, I mean... It's just kind of tasting a little watered down a little bit. Okay. Right here lately. Yeah. If I need to be honest. Okay, talk to him. You man. know what I mean? Hell, how many you got to drink? Yeah. Before I get a little cheers, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, get around and pop the top one time. Natty Light. We got Jam and we got Jay here too, man. Jay, you, you did the hook on this song, right? Yep. You want to talk about that? How that came about? Mm hmm. Just saying, I don't write, so I just when I get in the studio, I just go off the head. So yeah, yeah, that's about it. Hell yeah, y'all got y'all got a couple of songs together, don't you? Nah, you just got one. Oh, just that one. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so the one y'all played me in the car that day, that's this song. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, I'm excited yeah. about it, man. Yeah, that's a dope track, man. Jay did his thing on that thing. Yeah. I said shit. He presented to me, and I was like, well. Why would I not get on it? You yeah, know, right. Get jam on so, it. and then just so happened, look, we got a twister up there yeah. wrecking the place. We gotta go <laughs> check it, see what's up. Yeah. Because I don't know, we might have to call the paramedics. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing music, Jay? Oh, since middle school, so I was about like, ooh, probably about five years, six years. Yeah. yeah. And you met, and you've been doing banks for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Long time. That's cool. So you working on like your own your own solo stuff too? Yeah, been working hard. Hell yeah, dude. Got a lot of music to put out. Yeah, well, this is a good one to start with, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. What's the name of it? Deep down. Deep down. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Gonna get started, son. Oh yeah, gonna get real. Time to get that act right. Yeah. Hey, Zay. Did you bring that at right? No, I didn't. Huh. Hey, hey, did you bring that at right with you? Yeah, at right with you. Yeah. What that? I need a shot of that at right. I, I promise you, I ain't got no at right. <laughs> hey, did you bring that at right with you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I said, did you bring that at right with you? Yeah. That's what I'm asking you, right? You like the 1800? You like the 1800? I'm just telling you, man, look, somebody better have some at right around here. <laughs> Uh, we ain't gonna act right. <laughs> nah, man. What are we doing, Jambo? 
I'm finna try to see if I can throw my piece of gum up against your camera so you can't catch this. All right, you ready? <laughs> <laughs>